Hello friends, my name is Brecky and this is Sustainable Prepping, your fear-free emergency preparedness community for normal people. And today I want to talk about can you be both a liberal and a prepper. First, if you are new here, hello, welcome. I'm so glad you found my little slice of the internet. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Make sure the little bell icon is clicked so you can get all my latest videos on emergency preparedness for normal non-conspiracy theory people. And if you're not new here, thank you for sticking around. Welcome back. It's good to see you. I hope you're well. Drop me a comment. How are you doing? So the question of this week is can you be both a liberal and a prepper. So when I'm talking about liberals, I'm talking here about political parties. Can you be a political, liberal, or progressive and still be a prepper? Now, this entire question assumes that most preppers are conservatives, which in my personal experience has been true. Most of the people that I know that are into emergency preparedness and self-identify as preppers are not just politically conservative, they're hard right-wing conservatives. They're very traditional in their politics. They're, they even err on being kind of libertarian. The first thing I want to note is that emergency preparedness is for everyone. I mean, the short answer to this question is yes, you can be a liberal and a prepper, right? If you have emergency preparations, and you are a liberal, you are a liberal prepper. I mean, that's just an easy fact. But the bigger question that this is trying to get at is the culture of prepping is very conservative. Is there space for people who are not conservative in those places? And I think that's a harder question to answer. Now, I want to pause here and say I don't use the term prepper a lot because of the conservative connotations. There's a very particular kind of person that self-identifies as a prepper, and I don't fit into that culture. So I tend to talk about emergency preparedness rather than prepping to differentiate my way of inhabiting the space from their way. It's not necessarily one is better than the other. It is a personal preference that the word prepper comes with really specific connotations and I don't fit into a lot most of those connotations. If you were to Google prepper right now, you would come across hundreds or thousands of websites and the majority of them would lean right, not just a little bit right, but hard right. And many, many of them would be full of conspiracy theorists and crazy Russian news and all kinds of things that would turn off your average moderate or liberal political person in the United States. In fact, a prepping blog I used to follow called The Organic Prepper is a hard Second Amendment supporter. She's very, very, very pro-gun rights, and it was so intense that I had to stop following her because I couldn't handle some of her rhetoric anymore. And she identifies as the organic prepper. I mean, what is a progressive or a liberal to do if even people who are using coded language that tends to lean left is definitely, like, not even moderate? Ultimately, my friends, this is why I started this channel, because I, if you haven't guessed, lean left. And I wanted to create a space to talk about emergency preparedness for folks who who weren't hard right or who were moderate or who were apolitical and they didn't want to have to hear about right-wing conservative conspiracy theories, right-wing conservative politics, right-wing conservative religion. If you want that, there are people to watch. I will even link some of the folks that I follow that have different politics than me that I respect and think are really good at what they do. Now you might be asking, why are you reinventing the wheel? Who needs another prepping website. Well, I think we do. Liberals have a problem of assuming that because we believe in a strong central government with taxes that are collected to be used towards the common good, right, that's a liberal belief, a progressive political belief, that things are going to get taken care of. But the truth is they aren't because humans are fallible. And even with really good politicians leading the way, there is still inefficiencies and mistakes. And so emergencies happen and the government can't always respond effectively, whether or not it wants to respond effectively. So having your own emergency preparedness means that you are setting yourself up to not be a victim, right? You are setting yourself up for self-reliance and resilience in the face of an emergency, which I think is really important for everyone. But you're also intentionally saying those who are already underserved are going to be okay in the event of a crisis. Progressives and liberals also really care about people being treated fairly under the law. And they're much more in tune with the fact that lots of things prevent us being treated fairly under the law, like your skin color or your gender identity or your sexual orientation or your ability. 
and all of these different statuses, right, we call them protected statuses in some parts of the United States, mean that the law doesn't always get applied fairly. You might say, what does emergency preparedness have to do with that? But we know that the cards are stacked against some communities. And so those of us who have more resources, being prepared for emergencies means that when there is a response from a government agency, we don't need to take a disproportionate amount of the goods and services that otherwise would serve communities that have those cards stacked against them even at the best of times. For me, a lot of this is about individual agency and recognizing that we don't have a fair system. As a progressive, for me, I want to take care of my own needs because I want my collective tax dollars to go towards the common good. That doesn't always mean my individual good. That means the common good. I want my tax dollars to be able to be spent on good public schools and safety nets for people who really need them and on health care for those who don't have access through their jobs to have really good high quality health care. These are all ways in which liberals can be involved in emergency preparedness. You take care of your stuff so that your collective work can be for taking care of people who can't take care of themselves. And before I get any hate over here about everybody can take care of themselves, that is an ability issue. Let's talk about that in the comments. There are lots of people for lots of good reasons that cannot prep ahead of time. So we who can should, right? Finally, I think another space where progressives can really enter into the prepping community is through acknowledging and preparing for climate change. Climate change is real. The majority of scientists have been able to track that human encouraged, if not induced, climate change is a verifiable fact. We know that American citizens, American Inuits in the northern parts of Alaska have already had to leave traditional island homes because they are having seawater encroach and basically flood their traditional homes. So we already have climate refugees that are in the United States. The Marshall Islands has said that in less than 10 years, they probably will have to evacuate the island because the rising sea tides mean salt water is beginning to encroach up the island and is at risk of contaminating their clean drinking water. This is real. Climate change is happening. If you look at the intensity of hurricanes and fire season and tornado season, the fact that there are hurricanes in South America, like that has never happened before the last 20 years. We know that the entirety of world climate patterns are beginning to shift. This doesn't just mean things getting hotter this means things changing and becoming more intense. Liberals accept this. We embrace that this is the, the fact. And so changing our lifestyles now, not just preparedness in the sense of I've got my bunker of food, right? But preparing by changing our lifestyles now is something that progressives and liberals are already embracing. This is addressing a crisis before it becomes an unchangeable crisis. This means changing before the crisis hits, seeing the moving target coming at you and getting out of the way, if you know what I mean. This is a place that a lot of conservatives have their heads in a sand about, and it's a place where liberals can really step up into the emergency preparedness conversation and say, hey, this is a thing, and we're preparing for this very visible, scientifically documented issue and concern. Renewable and sustainable systems are the only way we're going to be able to combat climate change. And honestly, renewable and sustainable systems make everybody more prepared for more emergencies. Why? Because we're not dependent on non-renewable resources and we're not setting ourselves up for a whole bunch of risk factors. I mean, there's a reason why I chose the name sustainable prepping because ultimately the best emergency preparedness is a sustainable system for responding to emergencies where you have agency and with that agency you're allowed to respond with calm and confidence that agency is going to be based on renewable systems right sustainable systems so that when you're in a time of crisis you're not coming to the end of your resources rather you have a system that your resources can sustain you again and again and again so over the long term you'll see a lot more videos mixing in sustainability into traditional prepping topics because I think those two things go hand in hand because I'm a political progressive. At the end of the day, I think everybody is welcome to the prepping space. Are there going to be hard right-wing conservatives that don't want liberals? Of course there are. There's a certain kind of people who want this to be an old boys club where bullets, band-aids, and beans are the only things that matter. But I will tell you that 
that's a very narrow view. In my experience, a lot of the more conservative preppers that I've gotten to know, while they have lots of things to say about political progressives, are genuinely happy that progressives are beginning to get more involved. And because guess what? If more people are prepared, the crisis will be less bad. Instead of 1% of the population being prepared, if 10% of the population is prepared, that's 10 times as many people who won't be relying on emergency services. That's 10 times as many people who will be calm when everyone else is panicking. And so I think that as prepping becomes more mainstream, and I think as the conversation moves out of these more conspiracy theorist communities and into a more moderate and more mainstream conversation, especially in response of 2020, I think we're going to see people of all political stripes who are interested in prepping. And my goal is to create a space particularly for moderate and progressives who don't feel comfortable with some of the heavy Second Amendment conversations and heavy religious conversations that are out there. If this is you, know that you are welcome and this is a space. I am here to educate and to create community. If this isn't you, if you're quite conservative and you're like, well, am I welcome? Of course you're welcome. Just don't be surprised if you find that I lean left like I just am and I do. And if that's not what you want, like I said, I will link a couple of my favorite more conservative prepping channels down below because I think there's room in this conversation and this community for everyone. Friends, comment down below and let me know what you think. Do you think that there is anything about being a political liberal or progressive that prevents someone from being a prepper? What does it mean for the prepping community to be widened, right? How do you feel about being labeled as a prepper or joining the prepping community if you're not someone who has been in it for a while? Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to this channel. I would love to take you along on this journey with me as we grow a community, a more diverse community around emergency preparedness. I hope you're all doing well and I will see you next week.